Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome to another video of Uta Macros with me. So as you can see, we have finally gone into a brand new event and it's finally the Macross first generation opening song. <laughs> it took a while. But anyway guys, um, let's talk about the episode plates uh, available for us currently in this event. The one that's given with, uh, within the event itself and the one that you can actually pull from the gacha. So let's take a look at the one that's currently given in um, the event itself. Which you should, by the way, uh, if you're not familiar with the um, Kuji style event by now. Um, the Kuji style event is the best chance to obtain a plus 13 luck uh, episode play um, that is free. Um, that is if you actually put in the effort to uh, obtain the extra plates within the uh, Kuji um, rewards. So yeah, so with that said, let's take a look at the episode play itself. Alright, so the episode plate that is given to us features Hikaru uh, and yeah, it's a blue element plate or rather do we call it in Japanese Inochi so life, uh, the life plate so its total value um, at its evolved form is about 2375 in points um, mainly focusing on the voice aspect as you can see the voice has 1520 points and the rest of the other points are kind of low so it's just mainly focusing on voice although it is a blue element song so voice if you're not familiar by now is under the star element or the yellow color element um yeah so it's pretty unique that other colors will have a specialization under a different element um but you know with that um, with that being done, it shows that this song, um, the Macross opening, is actually meant uh, for plates that actually has more voice to shine. Um, so yeah, so um, considering that in fact, uh, the singer for the opening song does have a very powerful voice. So I guess that's probably how you can factor in the, the kind of episode plates that you can use for a particular song because the, the game crea creators actually do uh, a bit of um, I say recognizing of uh, the particular singer's um, specialization I guess. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Anyways, um, let's take a look. So. The center skill for the episode plate um, at its fully evolved version, uh, unit's voice will increase by 50% up. So once again, um, this plate actually helps boost the main uh, type of points that you need for a good high score in this particular event. So that's pretty fantastic. Um, but definitely not a very useful plate as a center plate because, well, it is a 5 star plate at its fully evolved version and the percentage is at 50% um, which is decent I would say even for 6 star plates um, some of the boosts are basically about um, 35%, 40%, 50% so this is pretty okay in terms of um, percentage value yeah so alright um, active skill well it recovers 25% of HP so not very fantastic in terms of active skill because welcome to Valkyrie World, the very first episode plate that is given to you at the start of Time Across does recover way more HP than this one does. So I would say this um, episode plate, I think it will do better as a support plate or even just uh, as a center skill, um, just for its skill in the center position. No, uh, yeah. So let's take a look at the life skill. All right. So for at the forty combo mark for nine seconds, your score will be increased by forty percent up, um, which is kind of decent. Um, not the best percentage boost in terms of life skill, considering that the six star plates have now gone to eighty percent to hundred percent. So yeah, that's pretty um, low. But considering that this is a free episode plate um, that you can actually obtain. Um, it's not too bad. So yeah, and of course there are the four divas that can be equipped with this plate. 
so yeah, Min Mei is definitely the main um, diva that can actually equip this plate since it is from her generation. And sadly to say, this episode plate has no special notes attached to it. So this plate, well, is definitely good as a center skill plate and a life skill plate um, overall and definitely focused at um, well high score uh, events that needs voice as its main uh, factor of scoring points so yeah um, should you actually work hard to get this plate well basically as long as we are in this particular event the Kuji event you definitely should work hard especially if you are a free to play person um, that don't want to spend money on the game and just focus on playing the game uh, free of charge. So this event is definitely something that any free to play player should work hard on. Um, spend that, those singing stones that you have stored up to refresh your energies, get as many of the meda uh, medallions or medals that you can actually use for the Kuji pools and yeah get all them useful resources that you need to power up your episode plates from the reward boards from the normal point system and of course the kuji boxes itself so yeah let's take a look at min mei's um costume and see whether unlocking her costume is definitely worth it all right so min mei's new costume um it looks very pretty definitely um, under the design of a captain's jacket or coat um, and yeah so looking at this effect basically Min Mei's costume uh, when equipped onto her and performing in it um, any of the life or blue element plates that you have will have their stats increased by 3% up so definitely useful in terms of this event or any events in the future that focuses more on the um, Inochi plates or the blue element plates uh, whichever you are more comfortable uh, recognizing them as so all right um, with that said okay so the her costume definitely can be used uh, all around especially for um, gaining your own player ranks um, as, uh, with the songs that are of the blue element or the uh, life element type songs so definitely a very useful costume and of course since the episode plates that are given within this event uh, for free have the points to unlock her costume I would say why not put in the effort to obtain a free costume um, and well get some useful stats out of it uh, especially for free players this is definitely something you need uh, in terms of uh, high score ranking or even breaking your own records on your own um, songs under the normal uh, live list so yeah definitely something you want to put in effort into getting uh, if you're wondering how you can actually gain more points um, from the event uh, other than the ones that are given to you normally by putting in effort and earning points or even getting through the Kuji boxes itself well, there was, there is another way um, that I did mention in the last event, the last previous month. Um, you can actually set up your entire team of um, plates on your divas to be under the luck factor, like what you normally do for the ticketing events, um, and basically try and pull out the exclusive plates that you can get from the event songs currently. Um, the plates that you can actually pull out, or rather the plate, there's only one plate that you can actually pull out from those event songs, uh, is the three star version of the event plates that are given out uh, currently. And well, the maximum amount of points you can get from the secret board for that particular plate is definitely a plus 100. So 100 extra points out of 1200. Uh, I would say it's pretty generous, um, but that is if you actually put in the effort to play the songs over and over again, trying to get the episode played. Um, don't think of it as um, well a chore. Um, basically, think of it as um, pushing yourself to get all the rewards as quickly as possible, and definitely completing the entire reward board that is actually um, presented to you. Um, free of charge by Dana. So yeah, so think of it as well You know think of it in a positive light 
uh, definitely something that you can look forward to you know the resources that is given to you and you can actually unlock more um, useful stats on the powerful plates that you don't have enough resources for in the past yeah so definitely push yourself further to achieve um, well better better equipments I would guess for future events so definitely a costume you want to get um, with all the points given to you at the end of the event I mean considering that I have actually tried uh, unlocking a free costume um, from an event before um, without using any of the episode ops sadly to say I was lacking in a bit of a point a uh, few points from unlocking the costume free um, which was Freya's resonance costume if I'm not wrong um, the last event no 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 it wasn't a resonance costume I can't really remember which <laughs> costume it was but anyway um, yeah so um, even if you hit within the top or rather you push yourself to unlock all the episode 5 star episode plates from the Kuji box plus all the 4 star plates that you can get from the event songs itself you should be lacking by maybe a few points which is equivalent to 2 medium sized episode ops and you should have the costume unlock uh, completely at the end of the event so yeah why not put in some effort and you reap um, wonderful rewards at the end of the event uh, but if you are very uh, well if you're a die hard Minmei fan uh, that can't wait to get the costume to perform in the live itself you may want to spend more episode ops um, at the beginning well just to get the costume and see Minmei dance in the costume itself um, but of course if you're a bit more converse, uh, conservative of a player like myself I will definitely wait until the end of the event but of course that means that we won't get to see Min Mei perform in the live with that costume until the song returns in the weekly uh, or rather the daily event songs that uh, actually give you the resources uh, every day to power up your episode plates so yeah alright so let's take a look at the um, special challenge that this current event has um, there is a difficulty challenge within this event uh, that might prove a bit difficult for some of the players with terrible uh, rhythm sense so let's talk about it okay so for this current event the special missions or challenges that you can actually face um, while playing any of the events lives um, they're pretty much the same uh, if you are aiming at always the highest percentage of points that you can obtain um, or rather the highest difficulty challenge level 3 um, that usually has the percentage boost of 80%, 100% and 120% well the main mission is pretty much the same thing basically when you're going through the Valkyrie mode uh, that is if, when um, the Valkyrie is actually attacking the enemy and you're supposed to rack up points to uh, enter Cho Utahime mode or Utahime mode um, basically during that period the sensitivity of accuracy is um, shrunk or rather made more difficult that means it is harder for you to actually get a more accurate tap um, which tends to help and, and making you end up breaking your combo and then of course if you're doing a luck setup like myself uh, when that happens it means that you will not enter Cho Utahime mode and some of the missions sub quest um, other than the main one which is basically shrinking the accuracy notes um, well some of the requirements require you to have like um, uh, survive the uh, the song with 80% or more HP or um, basically enter Cho Utahime mode or um, scoring double S rank in terms of your score uh, final score so yeah so having <laughs> that challenge can be a bit more difficult when it, uh, when it comes to collecting the extra episode plates from the event songs itself so yeah but if you don't really want to collect the episode plates uh, this way uh, and just want to 
clear the missions with ease. Basically, just go with an auto setup, uh, and of course, slotting in the episode plates that help boost the uh, extra points you earn at the end of the life. Um, that's pretty much all you need for this current event. Okay, so the extra difficult challenge here, other than the ones that's given to you uh, before the start of the life, um, basically, yeah, you have your notes well, shrunk, that's the most basic one, and of course, well, they decrease the amount of support um, you get from your Valkyries in the combat or between the enemy and your Valkyrie itself during Valkyrie mode. So what does that mean? It basically means that the normal amount of points that you get uh, from tapping the notes and doing damage to the opponent uh, is reduced greatly. So yeah, so remember last time when I said that plates with support wasn't that useful? Well, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I guess this event is currently one of those events that basically you need that support boost um, to help you get through such challenges. Uh, so if you have actually been racking up in uh, episode plates that had support boost, uh, I guess this is the time for them to shine. Other than that, they are pretty much uh, collecting dust in your collection if you don't really use them. So <laughs> yeah, um, so that's pretty much it for the special difficulty missions and challenges for this current event. Um, it's not that difficult of a challenge. I think the hardest one was probably the um, reduce accuracy plus um, more damage taken when you miss. Uh, that was really really difficult and uh, it was a challenge definitely and that made the game a whole lot more fun I guess. So yeah, I'm, I'm that kind of person that loves to face challenges um, well and putting myself out there to prove that I can actually do better than I thought I would. So yeah. That, make, that actually makes the game a lot more fun. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's the same for you guys, but uh, well, you can always tell me uh, in the comment sections down below. So <laughs> tell me guys uh, if having such challenges actually uh, make you want to play the game more. Alright, so let's talk about the uh, current gacha that's available, which has a very few new episode plates available. For this current event which is pretty strange <laughs> so let's talk about it okay so we are here with Min Mei's brand new gacha uh, let's take a look and see whether her brand new episode play is worth pulling or not so as you can see straight away they are advertising what's best off this episode plate um, yeah so basically her total score for all the points is 3416 which is fantastically high so I would say she is on the tier 2 level of best total score um, definitely the highest score uh, episode plate right now is uh, fire bombers plate um, which is 3500 and so I can't really remember the small digits uh, so pardon me on that anyways guys as you can see the main um, points that is focused on this episode plate is the voice just like the episode plate that was given free in the event itself but the charm value is slightly higher than uh, what it normally should be um, so that's fantastic as well so alright let's take a look at the center skill of the episode plate uh, A rank so not that fantastic but the units total um, will be increased by 20% up so that's pretty decent not the best center skill um, which in already hints that the uh, Min Mei's new episode plate is not meant for center uh, use so let's go straight to the next panel as you can see straight away we can see lots of S's <laughs> I mean S rank value um, so yeah active skill uh, for 20 seconds, uh, your notes are easier to press, uh, basically more accurate, which is exactly what you need for this current events challenge. So yeah, um, this plate is not just for this current event, well, basically it can be used in any of your normal plays as well, uh, especially for songs that you want to perfect full combo or full combo, um, but you always happen to miss a particular note and its timing uh, just because well you're too excited to press or maybe you kind of feel sleepy and you fell uh, and you're dozing off and your timing is a bit short 
So yeah, this episode plate might give you some uh, leverage in terms of health. So that's pretty fantastic. So <laughs> let's take a look at his life skill, which is probably what this episode plate is more used for. Um, so at the beginning of 30 seconds, for 7 seconds, your score is increased by 80% up. So it is uh, generally a very good support episode plate uh, since it boosts 80% up, which is most of the time that you see um, the percentage value on support episode plates of 6 star and above. Well, there's only 6 stars uh, currently. Who knows? Maybe Uta Macross might even eventually release a 7 star rarity episode play. Well, that's just uh, something to speculate about in the future. Anyways, um, the episode plate, sadly to say, doesn't have any special notes. Um, so it is generally a good episode plate, more for um, scoring good high scores and support and whatnot. So, um, yeah. So with that in mind, I would say Min Mei's episode play is definitely worth trying to obtain. Um, not the best or must to obtain, but definitely worth trying to obtain. Uh, if you have the uh, spare amount of singing stones available to you, why not give it a pull uh, and hopefully you might get it or even get some of the exclusive new plates um, that has points for Min Mei's costume that you might be lacking of a few points off. So let's do this gacha pool. I'm using my secondary account to do this. I'm not going to use my main account because I think, um, well, I, I, I would like to save up my singing stones on my main account for something a bit more epic <laughs> that might be coming in the future. Anyway guys, let's do this one single template pool on this uh, account and hopefully uh, I might get some nice stuff, I hope. Um, the last time I did a gacha pool video, which was last um, week, I guess. Um, yeah, it didn't turn out so well with a brand new account. So hopefully, after re-rolling the, the new account, uh, this account might have some kind of luck. So as usual, guys, what we are looking for is basically a golden orb at the start of the uh, gacha, and of course, five Valkyries, and hopefully, if you have not gotten your golden orb, uh, the orb changes to gold. And then, of course, praying to see lots of red boxes, and hopefully, a few rainbow ones, if possible. If not, well, hopefully, by the second bling, some of the red boxes might change to a rainbow box, or well, you can always pray to the diva that you are currently having on your main screen to pop up and say that here is a wonderful rainbow box just for you. So let's do this, guys. One, two, three. No, no golden orb. Okay, that's fine. No red boxes at the beginning. Oh, that's, that's just rotten luck. I, I, I guess new accounts just have terrible luck. Okay, I don't think I've seen this Messer episode play before, so let's just skip all the common ones. And uh, let's just go for all the, well, the one and only red box that we have. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just terrible. I think that's a new plate. Here we go. So it didn't evolve. Okay, so this is definitely not a new plate. So, But still, everything in here is going to look new because this is a brand new account. Yeah, so there's a lot of data to download because yeah, this is a new account. And don't mind the lag in data. Apparently my connection is terrible for today. I have no idea why. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's always nice to see lots of new... Well, the word new beside the episode played, but <laughs> it may not be new on my main account. I definitely have not seen this Messer episode played in the top left before. Um, there you go, you need to retry because the connection is terrible. Is it not going to move? Okay guys, so it seems my internet is trolling around with me. So it's not going to move and I'm stuck on this loading screen for pretty long already. Uh, just that I didn't, I kind of cut out the footage <laughs> because I've been waiting like an idiot. Anyway guys, so thank you guys so much for watching as always. Well, uh, hopefully all the information that I've been uh, mentioning in the past few videos, I've not been doing any generic uh, tutorial videos for a while, mainly because I've actually been planning to do um, a main, well, 
uh, main videos, three main videos for the three events so that um, you can actually just look them up and if you ever need a refresher on how to play or handle them so those videos might come in the future but probably after August period so there is an event that I have to attend uh, in August itself so I'll be uploading a video mentioning about that soon enough um, hopefully you guys can understand why uh, it's been pretty difficult to uh, get more videos uploaded onto my channel talking about Ultan Macross or even anything else like um, unboxing videos and all that that I usually do um, those, those content have been lacking quite a bit mainly because of this busy period uh, so yeah thank you guys as always again I can't say thank you enough in every video at the end of every video <laughs> uh, yeah so if you like what you guys hear and see and hopefully all the information have been useful for you guys do hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed and of course the bell notification icon so that you won't miss out any videos that I've uploaded uh, especially during this point of time when uh, my content is rather uh, dry in terms of uh, my schedule being very packed yeah that bell button is definitely going to help you out a lot uh, especially if you don't want to miss out any of the contents that I've uploaded onto my YouTube channel itself so anyways guys I'll see you guys in the next video and as always I hope you guys have better luck than this brand new account that I rewrote and still have not given me anything nice to look at <laughs> anyway guys bye